Hello again to the gamers. We are back on a Sunday morning playing YouTube Balatro, figuring out what, what the heck we're doing. Really just having a good time, feeling it out. I, I'm not one of those guys, you know, Balatro comes out in like, I guess, two weeks, a little bit over two weeks. I'm not one of those guys you're going to see that's theory crafting, how to get 7.19 times 10 to the power of E to the power of 75. I'm happy just to just to be here. <laughs> I'm happy just to just to have a chance to survive, quite honestly. I'm happy to experiment with uh with what we've got going on in the game and then eventually maybe we'll we'll get to the point where I have the opportunity, the know-how and the elbow grease. Holy cow, this is a good hand. Uh to take us to our our vaunted exponential gains if you will why was it a good hand we got to play three of a kind discarding none diamonds meaning we had a great chance to get a flush afterwards thanks for all the support on balatro so far by the way um it's a game i it i think it takes a lot of attention to watch the game i'll definitely take an early misprint uh and, and to understand what's happening so i appreciate you being here um you know it's not everybody's cup of tea but lots of people do seem to like it i genuinely think it's always dangerous to call this stuff like in advance that is not dangerous the stakes are pretty low but i feel like balatro is kind of destined to be one of those games that uh does really well this year and i'm looking forward to that hopefully but i'm also i'm hoping this isn't like an early slay the spire situation where people are like i'm not sure if it's for me i'd rather get the new uh listen we shouldn't pit two game developers against each other i'm just saying maybe some people decide that they would rather play um a live service superhero driven game that just came out instead of going to check out balatro that's your right in life i'm just saying i hope that maybe you get the opportunity to check out both sell this card to create a free double tag i do like it Times three molt if the hand... You know what? I've never really tried to make a flower pot run work. So I think we... As long as we use every suit... <clears throat> minus one hand size. As long as we use every suit in a hand, then we're kind of... We're chilling, right? So like this already is every suit. Let's see what two pair looks like when you get the flower pot working out. I mean, that wasn't that great, but also our misprint kind of let us down a little bit. I think the dream situation is that, you know, you'll get a good hand, like a straight, for example, that just... Was that not a straight? What, what did I play? <laughs> you can play like 8, 9, 10, Jack, King. That is not a straight. What's wrong with you? I also wanted to try one more thing, though. I wanted to try... Uh, we can't because we don't have any uh, hearts. In that case, let's discard these and we'll fish for a flush. But I wanted to try, like, what, what if you discarded... A club? There you go. What if, what if you just played high card, but with the times three mult connected? I mean, it seemed good enough. I don't know. We're feeling it out. I'm, I'm probably making some mistakes here. I, I'm definitely making some mistakes, but... So in this case, we probably wouldn't want to play a sun card. We probably would want, like, celestial cards, but I'm just... I don't know. I'm kind of underwhelmed. One of three planet cards... And I guess we would want to fish for things that are not flushes. Uh, because, again, we'll be... At least for now, we'll be trying to make flower pot work. But who knows? Let's level up three of a kind. It's kind of an underwhelming hand to begin with. But it, it works well with flower pot, potentially. Doubles your money. Skip this. Double your money. Gives one dollar per hand played this run. That's an interesting one to skip. We do need to be able to make it to the extra large blind. So maybe you... You do this one and buy a Joker from the shop. I got to think about this. You do that, this one, you buy a Joker from the shop to give you a little extra scaling to get over the, the next boss fight. Or maybe we just do the next one because we're only going to get $7 for skipping and we got $9 for doing the battle here. So High card levels up. I almost feel like like you have to take this as well, or you want to take this, because high card plus flower pot might give us like basically a, a discard that also gives us points. 
I'm not totally sure about hit the road. Maybe if we built like a lot of discards, we would be excited to see this. Let's let's give it a try because we do have an extra large blind coming up. And I think like rather than get $7 for skipping, I'd rather get $7 for playing. Okay, so no jacks to discard. This is every card. Every suit, I should say. Miss Print gave 11. You gave times three. We got there in one hand. Everything's going great right now. I'm just worried about like future potential because the, the difficulty of the game scales up pretty quickly. Convert left card into right card. I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical about this because we kind of want to keep a diverse deck to make sure that we, we don't overload on one particular suit so that we can more easily get the flower pot to work. But I don't know if the flower pot's going to keep scaling us till the end, so I, I really don't know. But I'll buy some planets, something I've been accused of, of not really doing much of. I'll level up uh, straights here. And I, I think I'll buy the Arcana pack as well, just because we haven't had a tarot card yet. We might as well mix it up a little bit. Creates a random joker, creates two bonus cards, destroys two cards. Give me a, give me a joker. And th this is like a dream to be able to buy this for $4 and then sell it and create a, a sick double tag. You notice how I'm using the verbiage of the game now? I feel like we've made, uh, we've made some progress. Now this should be, wait a second. This should be every suit and also a straight. But we can even go even further beyond by discarding a jack. I'm just trying to get in the habit of playing like the, the optimum hands because the game does ramp up the difficulty. 3,200 point hand. So that, that might not seem like it's that amazing, but keep in mind, this is an extra large blind right now. So to beat that in one hand is pretty, pretty good. I do feel like a lucky card is something that would be nice to have. And then an Arcana pack as well, just to get a tarot card. Spades, bonus cards, steel cards. It would be nice to put seals on our jacks because we're discarding them anyway. At least a seal that gives you like a planet when you discard it. But if anything, we would like a steel card not to be a jack. Or um, bonus cards to not be jacks. That makes sense to me. A steel card for extra molt is pretty nice. Oh, actually, are we got decent molt to begin with. Maybe we'd rather have chips. I think it's the sort of thing, you know, we don't have to agonize over, but incrementally improving your deck, I will admit that I underrated it. I thought it, like, wasn't going to be that good, but it seems to be core to a lot of builds. But again, I, I don't really have a mental model for how to strategize in this game yet. What I tend to do is buy, like, a Joker with a theme and then structure my whole deck around the theme no matter how jank it is. Which, sometimes it works, <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't. For me, here's what's tempting. Sell Diet Cola. What does it give you again? It creates a double tag. Then, sell this to give a copy of the next selected tag. Which is a double tag. Okay, so no, don't sell it now. That's that's an ex, uh, a mistake. Although, I mean, having two double tags... No, no, maybe it's not a mistake. Hear me out here. This is a, a bit of a crazy play. Okay, sell. Get a double tag. Get a double tag. Get a double tag. We do... We got a problem here. We got to beat the boss. But we'll have... We could possibly get, like, I don't know, eight tarot cards or something like that if we get the right tag situation setup. First hand is drawn face down. Let's discard from this side. Maybe we'll discard a jack. I guess we'll never know. Okay, we definitely wish to discard this. We have a, like a really good flush to play just to begin with. I would love to discard you, but obviously that's not the case. Let's turn you into a lucky card. We got a pretty good chance to play, like, four suits on the next one. We got we got it! One in five chance for plus 20 molt! That wasn't even that strong. I'm scared. <laughs> hmm. Does Do they all have to score? If it's a scoring... Okay, that's why, like, our flower pot was not working. Everything has to score. 
Alrighty. Well, why didn't you say so? In that case, I will play like a pretty bad two pair. I'm a little scared, but that's, I mean, it's nice to have the, the jack that's be already been discarded. This is so close, man. In that case, we'd rather play like that. I don't know. We're, we're going to make it through this. And then I think it's really our, our odds of winning will be determined essentially by... Uh, come on. Come on. Uh, will be essentially determined by whatever we get with our tag. Okay, well, maybe pay attention. <laughs> we do have three of a kind, which is nice. Uh, and we don't have a flush. So three of a kind, which has been upgraded. That should be enough to get us there, right? Yeah, that was actually a pretty good hand. But things got scary there. But we did skip, like, basically the entire ante, so... Maybe not much of a surprise. I think I would love to get... Let's get a Mega Celestial. Because we're still... I mean, leveling up our hands probably saved us on that last one. We get to choose two. I would like to buff three of a kind again. I don't think there's a world in which we really would be excited about playing pairs. High card has been sort of interesting, but now that I know that it doesn't work with flower, I don't think it's... Maybe it's not the right time. Let's level up our full house. I think we've played none of them so far, but one day, eventually, it may happen. Straight two pair pair. I'll level up two pair. We end up playing it a lot, even though it always feels bad. I think, if anything, with the jack synergy with Hit the Road, we would love to have um, more discards. Shop has a foil joker. No, no, no. We can't really do that. What we can do is skip this and we'll get eight tarot cards, which could really change the game for us. But we do have to get 8,000 points first. So I think it's a huge opportunity to discard two jacks. And then we have a full house immediately. Not a full house that uses every suit, unfortunately, but still. Yo, dude, we need a wild... Some wild cards would go insane on this run. Okay, discarding Jack for sure. Discarding nine, discarding three. I would, I would play two pair that hits every suit. That seems like pretty sensible to me, especially with a lucky card. We didn't get lucky, but... We did score 9,000 points in a single hand, which is pretty solid. Can I say that right now, I know we're only 13 minutes in here. This feels like I'm, I'm like proudest of this run out of any of the runs so far. Just because, even if we lose, just because I haven't built exclusively around the single theme, I feel like I'm just making like reasonably good choices at every possible opportunity. So I think you buy Diet Cola... We're not really doing a three of a kind build. We go next round, sell Diet Cola. We have four double tags. I don't know how many. I feel like we might be about to get 16 tarot cards. 10 tarot cards. Still, still nice. So, create. I mean, I feel like bonus cards are going to be good. Joker, of course, could be good. And Emperor could be good because it creates two. I think for here, like, let's just make our deck better. Let's enhance, like, different suits to make them bonuses. Like, if every card in our deck could be a bonus card, that would be very helpful. And then here, honestly, I'll create two randoms. Strength increases rank, death converts. I'm not a big fan of that, unfortunately. Uh, can, I, can I hit you with something insane? I'm going to increase... I guess we could just sell it. Let's sell it for one. That's better. That was kind of a whiff on this, but whatever. So be it. One card becomes a gold card. Creates two planet cards. Creates a random joker. On this one, give me a random joker. Straights can be made with gaps of one rank. I think that could be really good, actually. And then I'll just take two planet cards. So Mercury... <clears throat> give me a freaking second here, man. Mercury levels up pair. Mars levels up four of a kind. We're not really... 
Look, I guess we could try to create fours of a kind using that the card I literally just sold. <laughs> it feels like you definitely want to double your money. And then glass cards can go crazy. No doubt about that, but I'm always scared of them as well. But I don't really want a stone card either. But I don't want to remove... I guess it would probably be considering that there's not that much game left. It would be okay if, like, a couple of cards broke, as long as they gave us the times two molts, like, at least once. So sure, let's, let's create a glass card. That could be big for, like, just making one hand that helps us get over the boss. You always look for Hermit first. Glass, diamonds, clubs, joker, wild. I feel like wild... I don't know if wild will automatically trigger flower pot if it wasn't already triggered. Like, if we had three spades, a club, a, wait, two spades, a wild, a club, and a heart that scored, if Flower Pot would work. But I think we have to operate on the assumption that it does, and then let the game, like, prove otherwise. And I'll go one more random Joker. You never... Whoa, what are you, sir? After three rounds, duplicate this, or sell this to duplicate a random Joker. Okay, understandable. Sure. Um, I think I'll take... An extra $19. And I don't really like any of these that much. So sure, let's just create two tarot cards. Maybe we'll get lucky. Glass card and diamonds. We'll, we'll sell the diamonds card. I do feel the need to mention yet again. You may be like, NL, you just got all this money, but you're going to lose it. You go into the negatives anyway. Like there's no, there's no cheese in this one, okay? One card becomes a glass card. Well, you know you dump jacks. Like, that's that's mission critical. I would keep, like, your club. And I guess I would keep your heart, because you never know what's going to come out of that. No jacks. No pairs or anything. Oh, no, no, we have two pair. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this king of clubs into a glass card. It's like the same as, as Slay the Spire for me. In my head, like when I first started playing Slay the Spire, I was like, why would I ever want a card to get removed from my deck? If the card is good, I want to keep it. But like, they wouldn't make it good. Like, they would, you know what I mean? <laughs> they wouldn't make it something that cost resources unless it was good in the first place to get rid of it. Okay, so I'm, I'm a ho we're, we're a little scared here, but we're hoping that our flush does pretty well for us. It was horrible. It was absolutely god-awful. Um, so let me look at my hands. Two pair is 120 points. Three of a kind is like 490. I think we, we have to... Aces, queen. I think we have to dump all of these. Whoops. And fish for the, the full house. And we got there. There's a, a bonus card, a lucky card, and a glass card in here. Please tell me that, like, we, we can get a little bit of luck on our side. Plus 16 from the misprint is great. That, oh, yeah, I didn't know it would get us there. <laughs> I feel like without glass card, we'd, we'd be in a tighter spot, so I'm, I'm pleased with that. <clears throat> Even rank. Oh, I forgot I can make straights with the uh, with with a gap too. We should definitely be paying attention to that. We have forty eight dollars. It's probably time to start purchasing. Uh, I mean, we have been, but like even more so. Go three of a kind again. I really just don't want to find myself in a position to be getting pairs. I don't really want to spend ten gold on planets appearing more often. An ace in a straight creates a tarot card. I like the idea. You know what? I'm going mega standard pack. But I don't, I don't want to sell anything yet to make it work. <clears throat> a, a molted ace that may work for a planet but may not. And a foil three. I think we'll just take our, our best cards available here. Creates a, I guess we could just buy it and then hold it until we sell the Invisible Joker. But we are getting pretty close to, like, the end of the game. <laughs> so I think you gotta, gotta be a little careful. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> I 
So this is not a straight then. Or wait, wait, wait. Nine, ten. Queen, king, ace is a straight. Because we just use the... We, there's a gap. We're not like substituting a card. There's a gap. That was 5,000 points. That was pretty... And it, Flower Pot did work. So that to me means that we must... Oh, this is also a good Flower Pot setup. That for me means that the, the wild card must have enabled Flower Pot when available. That was a horrible hand. Okay. Note to self, be more careful about playing two pair. <laughs> We got to discard our jack as well. I know I'm, I'm basically discarding like an entire straight to do this, but I guess I'm just saying bear with me. Uh, a flush, I guess we'd rather discard our jack and even this two. Wait, that's that was not a flush anyway, so I'm glad I did that. This is a flush. This is an ace of clubs, my friend, an ace of clubs. Glass card is going to X2 the molt that also is x 2 because of the jack. I think I've got a, no, no, I think our order is fine. That was only 3,000 points. That's like a lot worse than I thought it would be. Um, three of a kind is pretty good for us, especially with this Molt and maybe this Lucky card. I get that we could be fishing for a full house as well, but so there's a bunch of threes, a bunch of eights, no queens left, one king. I would, I would play this hand. Hoping a little bit for this Lucky card to... It did not pan out, but our dude, our misprint went crazy. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like the misprint is is keeping us alive. Now I I made the astute decision to purchase it, so I'll take some credit, but still. Okay, thirty seven dollars. I would love to get two mult cards. We can't play this judgment for a minute, but it it may eventually pop off. Like I I feel like we've constructed a run that basically. We do play a flush, so I, why not buff it? Even though I said this is not a flush run, like I think this is <laughs> the best laid plans of mice and men, right? This is like a good stuff run, it, it, to put it in Magic the Gathering parlance. The theme of my deck is just good cards. I would love to double my money. It's like full stop. And let's save our money just because we need to sell this Joker next time, which means we'll have more space to get some good stuff done. So you can only play one hand type against the mouth. That's going to be like really nasty. You discard the Jack and everything else. Uh, the Ace is wild. We discard another Jack. We're really trying to get to like a... Well, we're, we're trying to get to this, aren't we? A full house. And... We, we should, this might win the, the fight. So if anything, why not? Because we like playing aces. And then we're going to play one of these in the battle. Or in the, in the encounter. Why not make some bonus cards? Or molt cards? Just so that we're keeping space open on our consumable slot here. We got lots of resources to pay attention to. That was not as good as I needed it to be. Um, we will discard our jack and our four and our seven. Kind of keeping the queen for the hopes of uh, something good later, which obviously did not come to pass. But let's see what this glass card can do for us. We're, it's basically an extra discard. That was horrible. <laughs> that was truly horrendous. Ooh, three hands remain. <clears throat> I mean, you can see what I'm trying to do, maybe. What I'm trying to do is get a full house using all of our super cards. But, like, I, I'm really... Uh, I, I'm hopeful this will work for us. I think we have to play this because it's extra mult. And then, could we get a club in here? Fantastic. And maybe discard two queens, one three, discard the three. That's not a full house, bro. That's a full house. <laughs> Please, please. I took a very, very big risk on this one. Plus four molt from the... We got there, but plus four molt from the misprint is horrible. Okay, this is where it has to start popping, okay? This is a very important moment. So I do have to sell you, but do, is there anything I don't want to be recreated? I don't really need a second shortcut, but the thing is... In fact, I mean, it would just genuinely be bad. But I don't really want to sell 
anything, because I don't want to sell one shortcut just in case this pops off with a shortcut. It's a second misprint. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Almost sold this. That wouldn't have been good. I do feel like we're in tight here. Listen, okay, I'm going to sell shortcut. I'm, I'm not going to focus on creating straights anymore. Two misprints is a little spooky, but this does allow us to then use judgment. Judgment, played cards with even rank, give plus four molt when scored. Well, for now, I think you live with it. We have $58. It's time to spend and hopefully find like a, an incredible joker. Because the, the misprints, I mean, like having two of them, in a weird way, isn't like double the randomness actually more consistent? Maybe don't quote me on that one, but... <laughs> I shouldn't say more consistent, but doesn't it smooth out variance? Because instead of like a, an N chance or a one in N chance to land at the extremes, it's like a one in the square root of N chance or something. Here's what I'm trying to say. If you roll a d6 and a 1 kills you dead, uh, that's not great. That's a 1 in 6 chance to die. But if you have two dice and rolling a 1 on each is what would kill you, then that's a 1 in 36 chance. So it's not 1 over the square root of n, it's 1 in n squared, sorry. But now, though you could take issue with my model, maybe... We could, you know, getting like a, a two and a three would still kill us. So maybe I've constructed the model incorrectly, but just just bear with me here, okay? Like I'm, I'm feeling my way through the, through the world. Now, I, I think, pardon me, even though this Joker doesn't add the score, this card is very important for us because it enables our jacks to, to pop off. Judgment creates a random Joker. I think we will sell this at some point, so I'll, I'll at least hold that, but we haven't really added. We've added four cards, so we're getting times. No, we've added none cards. We've added two cards. I don't know. G give me next round. We can only play one hand type this round, so you got to be very, very, very cautious. I don't think it's insane. Well, you got to discard Jax first, so you might as well start there. Sorry to the bonus card, but I'm built different. Similarly, we will do the same. Is three of a kind good enough to, to plan our entire run around? It is level four, which is really good. Let's give it a chance, man. So there's only two sixes left. There's only two sevens left. Dump these alongside of it. Okay, all we can play is three of a kind. This is very high risk. Plus 16, plus 19 from the misprints. Oh, baby. <laughs> There's zero sixes left. So the sixes are snake oil. You can definitely discard those. We, we can't play a flush anyway. So, like, get rid of sixes. Keep fives. Keep threes. You could dump your two. You kind of got to maximize your odds, I think. <clears throat> Okay, there, there's two tens left. I, it's, I really wanna, don't want to get rid of this ace, is the thing. This is our last discard, so this sucked. We have to play three of a kind. So just, just dump it and fish for your three of a kind. Brother, <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind. Come on. Come on! There we go. There's one three of a kind, and then probably dump the seven. And let's just see how things look here before we make our like our nightmare plays. Plus one, plus thirteen, not ideal, obviously. Uh, so we lost. <laughs> I would sell drunkard at this point. Use judgment and pray. I mean, I don't even know how we would get points. So first played face card gives. All right, all right. See this. It stings. This this was like the perfect blind to counter us because we didn't build towards like one specific hand type. But so be it. So be it. I had a great time nonetheless. I hope you did as well. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with another one uh, probably tomorrow and I'll see you then. Thanks for your support.